Yeah, it's a brand new day and you know what I'm here to say. I'm a teacher, not a speaker. So the last video, you got to go back and watch it, was titled Magnifying Your Perspective. This right here, once again, is a compound light microscope. My eye goes right here. Okay, that's known as the ocular lens. Now, this ocular lens, it magnifies whatever I look at 10 times, right? 10 times. So it's gonna really zoom in, get some details. That sounds amazing, right? But then in my last video, I also mentioned these right here. These are known as objectives. And these also magnify the specimen, whatever I'm looking at on the stage of the microscope. So on this specific microscope, it has three objectives. It has the low power one known as the scanning, the medium power, and this right here, the high power objective magnifies something 40 times. This ocular lens magnifies whatever I'm looking at 10 times. If I go to this low power lens, which also magnifies a specimen four times, 10 times four means overall, whatever I'm looking at 40 times, the medium one, it is 100 times, and the high power, it will magnify whatever I'm looking at 400 times. I gotta help make this make sense as we move through life, as we have our, I guess, our vision for the lack of better terms, as we examine ourselves, as we strive towards our goals and knock down those obstacles, we have to really analyze ourselves. When I look at this microscope, there's something that seems insignificant. This right here, it doesn't look like much. It looks like a black cylinder. It's between the ocular lens and all the objectives. It's known as a body tube. And what that actually does, it aligns everything. So as we are examining a specimen, looking at it, sometimes in our life, we have something similar to this body tube. We know what we could do on this end. We know what tools and resources we have in our reach or we're striving for. We know what we're trying to examine. We know the details that we're trying to find, but this body tube, as insignificant as it seems, it aligns everything. I turn on my light, right? The light goes through this black portion right here called the stage. It goes into the objective. It goes through the body tube and then it goes into the ocular lens. And that's what I'm actually looking through. And I say that all to say is just if we did not have this body tube, it doesn't matter how amazing this ocular lens is. It doesn't matter how amazing we are. It's the body tube that aligns everything. If this body tube were not here, the light would not be able to go from the light source through the diaphragm, through the stage, through the objectives, through the body tube to the ocular lens, which leads to our eye. And as we look through something under a microscope, there's one other thing I wanna point out. If we were to go to the most powerful of the objectives and look at that, there's something that I'm gonna realize. As I zoom in, as the magnification becomes larger, the field of view, what I actually see in the microscope, it's gonna get smaller, meaning it's cutting out everything around it, any empty space, anything that's not related to what I'm trying to look at, I, ca I can isolate it with the higher magnification. So let me just touch on that just a little bit more. If I were to use the weakest objective, right? Because it's the weakest, it cannot zoom in as much on the specimen and I'm gonna see empty space or I could be looking at, let's say I'm looking at a cell, I could see all parts of the cell that I don't even really need to learn about. It's when I really focus, it's when I really begin to magnify my perspective and use that high power, that high magnification, it's gonna zoom in. It's gonna give me the most clarity. It's gonna give me the most detail. It's gonna allow the light to travel the best through this device right here to my eyes and give me the vision of what I am trying to accomplish. Give me the vision of what I'm trying to reach, what I'm trying to attain. As the power increases, the magnification is gonna become larger and the field of view around it is gonna get smaller and smaller until the only thing that we could focus on the specific part of the specimen that holds all the detail of exactly what we're trying to reach, what we're trying to accomplish, and what we're trying to see. It aligns everything so that the light could travel through this microscope and give me the vision I need. Remember, I'm a teacher, not a speaker. I want you to have an amazing day.